Being stuck with a variety of debts can be scary, to put it mildly. Determining where to start your debt payoff approach can be difficult if you have credit card debt, mortgage, auto loans, student loans, and other debt. You are aware that paying off your debt is a significant financial achievement that will allow you to use your income in many other, more interesting things. That extra cash could be invested in or used towards a much needy getaway. It can be saved up so you can pay cash for your next car, or it might just provide your budget some extra breathing room. A well-planned repayment plan can serve as a guide for getting out of debt as quickly as possible so that you are relieved of the strain of those regular payments. There are two basic debt repayment methods that are frequently applied, but which one you will choose will depend on your own preferences. By examining the distinctions, you may decide with knowledge that will enable you to become debt-free years sooner than if you hadn't utilized a tried-and-true method. Interested to know what these methods are? Just keep on watching. Before we continue, please hit the subscribe button and bell notification for more entertaining animation videos to boost your finance knowledge. We will be posting multiple videos weekly. First of all, paying off your obligations in declining sequence of interest rate from the highest to the lowest is known as the debt avalanche. This implies that the outstanding balance on each debt is unimportant. For illustration, suppose you have a personal loan with a balance of $20,000 and a 20% interest rate. The monthly minimum in this case is $400. You also have a $10,000 student loan with a 6% interest rate and a $150 minimum payment. Because the student loan's interest rate is so much lower, you would merely make the minimum payment on it using the debt avalanche to pay both the student loan and the $20,000 personal loan. Once the personal loan has been fully repaid, you would next go on to the student loan. Apply the amount you were previously paying toward the debt until the next day. In other words, even though your personal loan is paid off, you are now making an additional payment on your student loan that will significantly speed up the loan's repayment. You no longer make the $150 monthly student loan payment. Instead, you now make at least the $400 monthly personal loan payment in addition to the $150 monthly student loan payment. With a slight variation from the avalanche, the debt snowball serves as a secondary reward approach. You may have heard this from Dave Ramsey, who strongly prefers the snowball approach since he thinks you'll pay off your debt far more quickly. When you concentrate on paying off your smallest debt first, your debt will start to accumulate. This approach is more of an emotive one and disregards the interest. If you apply this to the previous example, you would pay off the student loan first because the sum is only $10,000 even though the interest rate is so much lower. You proceed to the larger balance after the debt has been fully paid off. Many individuals would be perplexed as to why you would repay a loan with a low interest rate when you have others with considerably higher interest rates. The biggest benefit of using the debt snowball and repaying debt from smallest to largest, according to Dave Ramsey, is that you're more likely to maintain motivation. The idea is that after paying off your small debts, you'll be eager to move on to the next one until they are all paid off. Since the overall quantity of debts will theoretically be lowered more quickly than it would with the debt avalanche, you'll be able to track your progress more easily because you feel like you're truly making a dent in what might sometimes seem like a mountain of debt. This message is more intuitive than mathematical. According to Ramsey, the snowball method works so well because of our desire for immediate pleasure. The math seems to favor paying off high interest bills first, he claimed. But from my experience, I've discovered that personal finance is 80% action and 20% head knowledge. To stay motivated and get entirely out of debt, you need some fast wins. The finest aspect of this approach is that you are more likely to stay motivated, which is crucial while trying to accumulate riches. Getting out of debt and expanding your investments might take a while so staying focused is essential. The debt snowball's disadvantage is that it will cost you more money overall because interest accrues at a higher rate. A recurring topic in Dave Ramsey's advice is emphasizing your feelings more than actual figures. The debt snowball and the debt avalanche are two strategies for quickening your debt repayment. Your monthly contribution exceeds the required minimum, 
but which approach would be most practical for you? To begin with, both approaches are quite similar. This is due to the likelihood that smaller loans, such as credit cards and personal loans, typically have interest rates that are greater than those of a mortgage or even a car loan. The payoff sequence may alter slightly as a result of the method, but they will both be similar. It is likely that a mortgage or other significant loan has the lowest interest rate. Generally speaking, this is accurate. However, it's not always the case, such as when you're trapped with a high interest car loan because of poor credit. Let's look at another real life example of a person with 5 loans to help make this point more clear. This guy owes $4,000 in credit card debt at a 30% interest rate, $15,000 in personal loans at an 18% interest rate, $30,000 in auto loans at a 6% interest rate, and $350,000 in mortgage debt at a 5% interest rate. Using the debt avalanche strategy, they would pay off the credit card balance in full while making minimal payments on the remaining balances. After paying off the credit card, they would put all of their resources toward the personal loan, followed by the medical expenses, the auto loan, and then the mortgage. The debt snowball's implementation would differ slightly. Once more, the main issue is the credit card. Since the medical bill has the second smallest loan sum after the credit card, it gets paid off after the credit card. The personal debt was paid off next, then the auto loan, and then the mortgage. As you can see, while small loans frequently have higher interest rates, the order in which the loans are repaid is remarkably similar in both cases. The debt snowball is likely to work better for you if you're the emotional kind when it comes to money. According to Dave Ramsey, as your debt load drops, you'll become motivated and get thrilled. You'll be delighted when the credit card is gone. Once the car is paid off, you'll be inspired to start paying off your mortgage sooner. Even if the interest rate you're paying could be a little higher, who cares as long as it helps you keep moving toward debt freedom? Without incentive, you can end up in debt indefinitely, which would result in you actually paying more interest. In addition, the overall interest you'll pay might not be all that higher. The debt avalanche would be ideal for someone who is solely concerned with numbers and who doesn't get emotional when it comes to money. If you can maintain your motivation, you'll eventually be able to pay off your debt a little more quickly. As soon as the high interest bills are paid off, you will keep your low interest debt. If you become motivated by progress and are relieved when a loan with a little balance is paid off, you might want to remain with Dave Ramsey's debt snowball plan. Both strategies work well for paying off debt. Putting together a plan that will keep you motivated is the most crucial step. You might be pleasantly surprised at how soon you can reach your goal, depending on your income and expenses. If the procedure seems slow at first, keep in mind that the progress will quicken as each debt is paid off. See the video description for our best videos to boost your finance knowledge. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more entertaining animation videos. Thanks for watching.